And welcome everyone here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Ender Spiders. This is a deck we've done well with whenever we've played it before. It's a pretty powerful one um, where it's basically we just play a whole lot of spiders and just a whole lot of allies and uh, keep crashing them against the wall, you know, attacking and attacking and, um, you know, hopefully get a lot of damage in. But a lot of them are going to die. And then after they die, then we play they who endure so what six mana one one but whenever i'm summoned grant me plus one plus one for each ally that has died so obviously hopefully it's going to be like a really big creature you know a 12 12 15 15 you know something really big like that it has overwhelm uh to be able to get through blockers and finish our opponent off and if it's not good enough we also have atrocity where we can sacrifice it and deal damage to equal to its power to the opponent. And that this combo usually wins the game for us. And this is our, our main uh, game winning combo after throwing waves of spiders at our opponent. Um, we also have like some defensive elements with like withering whales and ruination help the game go a little longer so we can get more um, more spiders out there. We can find they who endure, find atrocity. It's just a pretty strong deck. It's hard to stop. Um, but that's what our our uh, deck is. So let's let's give it a try. We're gonna go over and play some games in ranked. Play five games. Uh, where are you at? Endure spiders. There we go. Let's go to the ruins. Here we go. Yeah, Lee Sin looks looks really cool. Um, I'm I'm not sure how good Lee Sin actually is. I feel like. I feel like it's kind of on like the same level as Lux, basically. Um, and you know, Lux is Lux is very good, but um, you know, there's going to be better champions than than Lee Sin. But um, it's going to be very easy to level up Lee Sin. Lee Sin's going to be leveled up all the time. No, we do not have the Allegiant stuff, no. Shadow Ez. Yeah, with Expeditions, you want to make sure you have a pretty decent curve. You know, like, you don't want to have, you don't, uh, just some tips for Expeditions. You don't want to just have all, um, you know, like, all three mana cards for example they're all four mana cards you know try not to get uh boggled down in like one uh mana cost you want to have a good curve and a part of that curve is you is you do need um really good top end cards because the games are slower um they're grind you know like they're slower they're grindier both both players decks aren't perfect um and so like those the top end cards that are really powerful are very important in expedition so you don't just want to have like all one and two mana cards you ha like you really do because the games go longer and you know obviously you you don't have to worry about missing uh your mana drops you're always going to have mana but it is important um to have really good you know six seven eight mana cards that will win games Spiders. Obviously, I'm hoping they don't Withering Whale. It's kind of a weird looking deck. You don't see very much amateur area not. Boo. This thing's not tough, right? No, that's the Demacia one is tough. Back alley barkeep. That's my kind of card right there, back alley barkeep. That is my kind of card. That block will be bad if they use removal on something. 
Oh. Alright, well that's... That's pretty sweet. My true is it would just do that the next turn, but now they get those two cards earlier. If they have removal for Elise, my best play is to attack right now. If they don't, my best play is to play Skitter, Skitter. It is very tempting just to play double Skitter. And do it. It's very tempting. Okay, that's not bad. That's lethal. I mean, that's just lethal on board. That's 13. They can't block any of this. But we'll just play this to do even more damage. At least makes all my spires fearsome. Boom. Slightly arrogant name. <clears throat> well, I was looking for some more power. That's why I mulliganed the one mana card. <laughs> they who endure certainly is more power. Come closer. I don't this isn't really like even a good play, like that good of a play playing the Elise because. You know, I could have got like the one point of damage in. Their deck is filled with two mana cards with three plus power, whether it's Ice Veil Archer or Legion Drummer. My light for I guess this isn't a this is not a bad trade for me. If if they want to trade, that's not bad. Want. What's up, Zero? What's that deck right there, Zero? Sharpen the blades, cure the kill. For glory, face me. What is it? What what is the deck? Tell me about it. Cool, no elixir of iron, that's good. That's a big Rasa. Problem is, like, the Omenhawk pluses, you really want on, like, the smaller creatures like Averroes and Sentry. Like, that's a really good plus, but Rasa being a 7-5 or being a 9-7 doesn't really change very much. Like, the like you, that larger number there for your power toughness does have diminishing returns. Like, the difference between a 1-1 and a 3-3 is huge. The difference between, you know, a 5-5 and a 7-7... Not nearly as big. These old eyes still see far and clear. Avarosans, stand together! Ready the torches! I'll start breaking this thing down. Hmm. 
Where are we at? We're at six next turn. It's Karma and Braum. Okay. I have played a Karma Braum deck before, Zero. They use like brittle steel, like anything like that, weird flims beyond, but no, it doesn't look like it. We're just wasting too much mana. It's not it's not time yet for me to play They Who Endure. All right, well, that's fine. Here you go, Zero. In case you missed that video, check that video out. That is me playing some Karma Braum, but I will also be checking out your deck, of course. But if you want to see some some Karma Brahm in action. What's that noise? You gotta believe me. Look out there. I was hoping they'd play Ash and then out Ruination. Please, I have connection. I guess I should just be blocked with Omen Hawk. Um, with your deck, I'm, I'm not sold on Kindly Tavern Keeper. They're just passing. There's a lot of life gain in that deck. You have like Navori Conspirator, but like no one mana cards to pick up with it. Do you want one mana cards to be able to pick up with it?
Let's see what you've got. <clears throat> if I play They Who Endure, they're gonna Winner's Breath. Or whatever, they like, yeah, like they're gonna just keep on flash freezing and frostbiting and all that kind of stuff. We got one Ash out of their hands. Ash is at three out of five. They are, it does feel like they're playing around Ruination quite a bit. Just feel like they're trying to play around Ruination at least. We know they have a crystal arrow. It's gonna be their next card is crystal arrow. Yeah, I should have blocked with the one one for the for the yeah, for the withering will. Yeah, probably should have just done that. This is really tough combo to pull off against frostbite cards. Like, I can't even attack with this 13 13 because they just frostbite it and then and block with the Rhyme Fang Wolf. Safeguard our homes. Eyes blazing bright as torches. A difficult combo to pull off. You gotta believe me. Look out for reavers. Find the signal. I want to incentivize them to blocking with the Rhyme Fang Wolf on the Elise, but... 
Be like, how do I actually get through? Can I just never attack? I guess I'm dead. Yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't beat a rhyme thing wolf. This is crazy, but I can't. I can't be a rhyme thing wolf. I really can't. Yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to win this. the wolf oh, there's a knock on the door in a second do here. Yeah, the game was just too slow where they were able to just stock up on frostbite cards and I just, you know, I... I drew all of my top game early, and uh, therefore, you know, like we were just really, really slow, and they were able to just sit back, um, have you know, draw their top game, top game cards, and everything, or you know, draw all their frostbite cards, take out my top end, and that's that. Um, this is can certainly be problematic, you know. If they have Fiora, I can't beat Fiora. Um, you know, this looks like the standalone deck, so we know that that means that turn three they're going to play standalone. They've had turn three standalone 100% of the games. So far it's been 100%. Um, yeah, I start at 4 o'clock Eastern. Uh, if you're on a different time zone, that's three and a half hours ago. And, um, and then I stream, yeah, I stream usually four or five decks a day. And so I usually stream for about four or five hours a day. Everything's better with company. Says you. No standalone? Whoa, they didn't play standalone. That's the first time ever. The first time ever I played against this deck where they didn't just play standalone.
Yeah, so we're alive for a little bit. At least. For a little bit. Not sure how long that's going to last. But at least a little bit. Attack. If I must. All right, down to five. And no rallies either. <clears throat> no standalones, no rallies. Tread lightly, strike hard. Problem is if I play Elise or if I play Brood Awakening, yeah, then we can be dead. I need no Only their deck really plays removal. I mean, I guess they could have Will of Ionia. Um, I don't know. Should I still just play Brood Awakening? What's like worst case scenario if I play Brood Awakening? There isn't really one. Right? Like, they can't have Judgment. They could, like, block... You could play something and then the lifesteal barrier, but they're still dead. Like, even if they have, like, four, you know, so they gain four, they go to nine, block the first thing. Yeah, you know, like, they still die. I guess they could deny this and then play a blocker, but then I'd play a lease, so they're still dead. Start with all the two powers if they want to block with lifesteal. Alright, two and one. They did not have a standalone. And so we won. That is, that is a cause for celebration. We do not see that deck not have standalone ever. That's the first time. But now I can't say. Yeah, very rare. I can't say that that it never happens. So it happened that time. Heimer as with Noxus. This deck should be good at playing good you know this should be good at killing like small creatures um, this is gonna be a damage based deck i feel like this is gonna be a lot like draven as except for they're playing hybridinger instead of draven See the border. 
Yeah, that's what the deck. Yep, yeah, that's exactly what the deck does. You just, you just wait till turn three. You play, Zed, Monk, Fiora, and then stand alone. Um, I don't know why I played this over Elise. I guess I was kind of expecting my thing to die. Now I'm kind of expecting uh, Static Shock, and so I don't really want to play another Sentry. Yeah, it definitely feels like Static Shock. I should have, should have led with Omen Hawk, not lead with Sentry, since we were going to be drawing all those cards. But we didn't get punished, we drew all spells. So it didn't really matter. Is Ezreal the most annoying champion? What do y'all think? Who's who's the most annoying champion? I think, I think that's the design of Ezreal, though. I think Ezreal's designed to be annoying with him doing, like, the ha-ha stuff and things like that. I think that's his design. Glad I didn't play Thresh. Thresh getting Culling Strike would have been rough. Does kind of seem like they may have another Culling Strike. They're willing to throw that one away. Yeah, this is a, this is a tough uh, metagame for Teemo. You can just play a burn deck. And say that, you know, and just have Teemo in, like, your burn deck. Um... As far as like an, an actual puff cap deck, my favorite is uh, a deck I call Teemo Wayfinder. But Teemo Wayfinder is real good against uh, control decks. Um, but this isn't like the you know like the best metagame for it. It was it was better like a month ago than it is now. Just 
do that first. Get an elusive creature to block to attack with. It's annoying. Oh no, they didn't play that. I definitely want them to play that and then I was going to Withering Will and then attack. That was a good play from the opponent. That was a good play from them. This is gonna be tough now. Guess I should just cast the Withering Whale, let them play the other three, one, and then attack. Champions are really difficult to beat. So it's not going to kill the turret, right? Don't think it will. I don't think Vile Feast kills this turret either.
Did I have Bile Feasted the, the Heimerdinger in response to that and gotten rid of Ezreal? Maybe. Really? Shunpo? I was, so obviously my plan was Atrocity like before they, they go to combat. That was a frustrating game. I feel like I shouldn't have lost that. My opponent played really, really well. They they played perfectly, honestly. Like they they played great. The yeah, the second thing, Sherlock. Yeah, no, catastrophe is not reliable. What's up, Salvi B? What is up? All right, back tomorrow, Heimerdinger. But at least we're not going to die to Ezreal killing us this time. It's the much slower death of a leveled up Karma. I could be convinced that I shouldn't play the Omen Hawk in respect of, uh, since we played it, we don't have five mana next turn um, to cast Brood Awakening. But with them having the pickpocket, I'm glad that we did play it. You're welcome, Sherlock. You're welcome. Yeah, here every single day, and and um, for some reason I was thinking that I was gonna be playing a Brood Awakening this turn, but oh well, we'll just play the Skitter. Yeah, and I'm I'm always. You know, I'm, I'm real helpful for y'all being in chat, asking questions, um, and everything. I I really appreciate that. Streaming's a lot more enjoyable, like more people talking in chat for sure. So, um, so yeah, thank thanks everybody for being here. What seems to be the problem? I think what seems to be the problem is a Heimerdinger making a bunch of free turrets. I think that's what seems to be the problem. So do I cast Gitter first? Or go straight to attacks? We'll go straight to attacks. Just gotta get their life total low enough for they who endure atrocity. They are a deny deck. So we have to be worried about deny. Is really difficult to beat. Let none disturb my oh!
Uh, sorry. Good draw. Doesn't kill the 2-1. Card's too tough, but I like getting rid of this 3-1. Because obviously I'm not, I'm not playing any of these things right now anyway. All right, so next turn we're looking at 10 mana. Not enough for both they who enter and Atrocity, but getting there. Wish I had a Vile Feast to kill my own Avaros and Sentry. Man, they still have 7 mana. So could Atrocity my Century and do two damage to them? That would be a, a six damage total. Like that would put them down to five. Five's not enough to kill them though. So we basically just didn't do any damage there. I don't like that they who endure is not lethal. Alright, this makes they who endure lethal. work. That'd be pretty great if this works. Oh, it's still not so bad. That Will of Ionia would have... Oh, man, they still have more of those things? Would have messed up my They Who Endure, that's for sure. Awesome. 
And that's what they who endure is all about. Getting through that damage, even with them having like those multiple barriers that gain life, all that kind of stuff. All right, so there we go. So that's Endure Spiders, you know, three and two. Yeah, GG's. Do have like so many, like so many decks to go two, three, three, two um, with this game. It's, this game, it's, it's difficult to um, have a ton of decks and, and have really good records of them, but yeah. We have a lot of, that's true, we do have a lot of, like, weaker cards in the deck, but it does work really well, you know, because it's, you know, it just eats up removal, like, it does make, like, removal pretty poor um, with, like, all, like, how many bodies you can just throw out there, um, you know, cards like Hapless Aristocrat, Crawling Sensation, um, you know, Brood Awakening that just make all these bodies, and then late game, you know, you have the They Who Endures. I've always liked Rasa. I like Rasa as a card. I think that's like where I messed up game four. I think I really needed to play, like I could have played Rasa, you know, a, a turn, at least one, but probably two turns before I did. And I needed to, cause I, I had the Rasa atrocity combo that could have killed my opponent, like the, the game four that I messed up um, or that I lost. And I think that if I would have gone for that line, if I would have been more aggressive with playing Rasa earlier and then sacrificing it to atrocity, instead of trying to outgrind and, and get more damage in, I think if I would have just pivoted to that line, I think I could have been more successful. Um, I could also see one of these Rasas being a Ledros instead of the two Rasa. Um, yeah, I could definitely see playing one Rasa, one Ledros, but I've been happy with, with Rasa. I've been pretty happy with it. Anyway, there we go. There's Endure Spiders. It's a pretty good quality deck. Uh, yeah, where the some of the parts are greater than the whole of them, to you know, individually. Yeah, yeah, Lee Sin. Yeah, have seen Lee Sin. Yeah, that's that's gonna be exciting. All the cards will be available on the twenty eighth. Actually, the thirtieth is whenever Mobile should be up and running, but the twenty eighth that update we should have the the new set so that's only in five days um yeah we'll get all those new cards so that's gonna be sweet that's almost here all right those y'all watched on youtube um let me know what you think of like all the new champions and everything feel free to you know leave those comments which champions are you real excited about um all that kind of stuff i always love seeing the comments and interacting with y'all over on youtube but thank you so much for watching Endure Spiders here, and I will see you for the next video.